Beograd, the white town, known internationally as Belgrade, is a city of fine buildings, the Kalamagdan fortress, beautiful churches, attractive restaurants and of course Tesla. Beograd sits astride the Danube and Sava rivers. There has been a settlement there since 7000 BC. It has had many rulers throughout the millennia. In historic times uh, it was conquered by the Celts in 279 BC. Roman times were 75 BC until 395 AD. After that came the Slavs. Uh, in 1521 the Ottomans conquered it and it was the site of many battles with the Habsburgs. The Ottomans were finally driven out as late as 1815. History and Wikipedia states that it has suffered 115 battles and has been burnt down 44 times. The world wars brought more damage and suffering and most re recently NATO bombed it. The city centre features many attractive and decorated buildings. Most are in good condition and some feature in built statues. Uh, statues and works of art decorate the streets and parks. Many of the attractive city centre buildings were erected in the period 1870 to 1920. There are also many modern buildings created in the town of Tito and more recently. The city centre also features the large uh, Kalimagdan fortress. Not far away is the Nikola Tesla Museum. While walking Beograd streets, look up. You will see many fine details and statues incorporated into the building facades and on the roof lines. Some of the city's larger or more important buildings. Beograd has large and pleasant uh, squares, parks and public areas. The city has a popular walking shopping street called uh, Kneza uh, Myhalia that leads to the city's uh, Kalam Egden fortress. The street features lots of nice buildings, shops and cafes. Many buildings were built in the 1870s. Here you will find fashionable brand name shops if that is what you like.
Leading from Kesmihalo Street down towards the Danube River is another attractive street which is well worth a look. Its name is uh, Krelia uh, Petra. Prince Milos wanted a quality building and to help maintain standards he built a scaffold in front of the palace and immediately hung any tradesman who failed to perform to his standards, typical behaviour of a nobleman of this time. Princess Ubitsa lived there, Konak Kenigia uh, Jubitsa. Kalimagdan Fortress was initially built in 279 BC by the Celts. In the years since then it has been the home of the Romans, the Bulgars, the Byzantines, the Serbs, the Ottomans, the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. Today's structure is still quite impressive with dry moats, towers, uh, tunnels, deep wells, huge walls. Uh, it contains a number of museums and a restaurant. Entry to the fort structure is free. Orthodox churches are visually spectacular, especially inside. Beograd has many fine examples.
Apart from the attractive street cafes, the city has some beautiful land restaurants and a large number of floating restaurants on the Sava River. Hundreds of miles inland, the city has its own beaches, waterside restaurants, and attractions. The area is called Ada Siganaliya, where there is an island, and when they go in on the south of the river, you can walk, paddle, boat, bike, or boat, swim, down, drink, sunbathe, or use an adventure playground either on water or on land. At the moment, it's part completed buildings and part illusion by the use of clever printed canvas.
The people of Biagwe typically live in apartment blocks, many in Novi Biagwe. So this is rather long. I hope at least somebody watched it all the way through without falling asleep. Uh, Biograd is a good city in an underrated country. For those who appreciate history, it has lots. But it has more to offer than many other more famous destinations. It is an affordable destination and its people are friendly. There aren't large numbers of people there waiting to rob you. Public transport is reasonably priced and user friendly. Many people uh, know some English. Discount airlines serve Biograd. Uh, give the place, the country a try. You won't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> 